What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this scrollable product or scrollable collection section right here. It is fully customizable and as you can see right here if I hover over it it stops and this functionality and a bunch more is something you can change in the back end of your theme editor and I'll show you how to do this and many more things in a second. All right, the first thing I did for all this is that I headed on over to the Shopify App Store where I did get the Section Store app. Section Store is a component library of Shopify with over 200 fully customizable components. And the app itself is completely free. It's a non-subscription app. And as you can see right here, a few of our sections do come with a one-time charge. This one does as well with a one-time charge of $9. But that means you only have to buy for uh, you only have to pay for it once and then you will own it forever. You're not going to need any expensive developer whatsoever and you always have the opportunity to fully customize it and even after deleting the whole app you will still own the section so it's not going to slow your page down in any way. So I think there's a lot of good benefits which is speaking for the section and section store as well. And after successfully downloading it you have to head back to the my sections area of the app We you have to add the section to the theme you're using. In my case it is the Dawn Live Theme. I've already installed it and then simply open up the theme you're using as well. It does work on every theme so you don't have to worry about that. We optimized it for every possible theme and if you do run into any sort of problems always feel free to reach out to our customer support. We're really behind that and we'll help you making it run on your store too. So yeah that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. If I would want to start completely from scratch again I would type in scrolling products I think I have a little typo here somewhere. There we go, scrolling products. And that is how the default version would look like. And I'm just gonna hide the one you saw in the beginning of the video and we're gonna work with this one. I'll click on it. Here we could add a heading. So scrolling products and it would appear right above it. We're just gonna use that real quick. We can adjust the margin and padding of that as well. So if we would set the line height a bit bigger, it would get a bit more spacious. We can put a selection right here. So in this case, we're going to do the summer collection. And as you can see, immediately, it's going to get filled with products, the headline and the price as well. Another thing we could do is choosing products specifically. So here's a list of all the products you have in the store. And then you can just pick out which ones you want to get displayed. You can see how many products you want to get shown. So if you select 10 products here, it's exactly the amount which will get shown. The scrolling speed of the whole thing is something we can adjust. If we want to have it a bit slower, we can do that as well. Also just the scrolling direction and that it's going to pause and hover. Maybe we're going to put it on right for this tutorial. And yeah, the whole thing is fully responsive. We did optimize it for more well as well, as you can see right here. And I'm just going to switch back to desktop because I think you'll have a better overview there. I'm just going to go over this real quickly. We can use a car shadow too. So the contrast is even better. And yeah, so much to that. Button text is something we can customize the button size. All the text sizes are changeable too and if we scroll all the way down we can see right here that we can change the colors of the whole thing too so let's say the heading color you want to have that in this little brown tone that is possible the section background you want to have it in something a bit more gray maybe the heading color looks better in white then because of the contrast and the last thing i would like to change is maybe the title color switch it to that so that is standing out a bit more and also the button color so we have a bit of consistency in that whole thing and i don't want to have a border then or maybe i'll set it to the same yeah that is looking good let's save it all up and have a final look at it in the live version and there we go give this a little reload and see how it looks like now it's looking perfectly fine if you ask me and if we click on one of the products it's gonna directly link us to that one so that means the link is working perfectly fine and that pretty much brings us to the end of the video i hope you guys found it useful and you build your own very nice looking scrolling product sections and with that being said have a good one and peace out